These cattle should receive most of their nutrients from forage. If the quality is low or the needs of the animals happens to be high because of productivity, maybe some supplementation is going to be needed. The question is, what is the most economical supplement that we can provide for our beef animals? It may be that you will need to contact your local extension agent to help uh, work out a plan to economically supplement your cattle. First thing you need to do is to forage test to determine just what do you need. Do you need additional protein or you do you need additional energy or do you need a combination of the two? Once you figure out what you need, then it's going to be much easier to determine which supplement that you might be needing. Then it's time to start making comparisons. First off, you probably need to decide, do you want to buy the supplement in bag, block, tank, blocks, uh, whatever. You know, there's a lot of different uh, forms out there uh, and a lot of the decision may be based on whether you need something that's going to be very convenient or whether you have storage. Uh, many factors will fit into determining which form you need to have that supplement in. Uh, it's usually cheaper at the, if you're using a loose form and can store it in bulk, but many producers don't have the facilities to uh, accommodate a bulk supply of feed. Uh, if we're using some of the blocks or lick tanks, something of this nature, uh, we find that those generally are a little bit more expensive, but they do provide a lot more convenience and the producer doesn't have to get out every day to, uh, to do the feeding. Uh, considerations uh, uh, that you need to keep in mind too as you're looking at the various supplements is that uh, you know if you've got a forage that is low in protein by supplementing with a little bit of additional protein that you can increase the consumption of the forage that is out there and also you can improve the utilization so I think that uh, uh, is uh, is a real plus particularly when you have some some low quality forage in terms of protein. Uh, high energy supplements you need to be rather cautious with these because many times they will decrease the utilization of the forage that uh, is available. So if you are using a high energy uh, supplement such as corn you may want to limit the amount and then maybe use some other type of supplement to, to go along with that. You probably need to check with a nutritionist to get the best combination of ingredients that will meet the needs of your uh, animals. Uh, again, we cannot overemphasize the need to forage test and if you will uh, specify on the information sheet uh, when you send in the forage sample what kind of animals that you're going to feed and what type of supplements that you're looking at, the ration can be balanced to accommodate these uh, different nutrients. If you'd like additional information on supplement fundamentals, contact your local extension agent.